Hi, I'm a guitar player, but I like X Drummer, particularly the new version 1.5.5. However, in the earlier editions, I felt that there was a lack of a way to output individual drums to individual tracks, and I like to do that. I like to keep my snare separate from my kick, my kick separate from my snare and from all my other drums, but the new version has a way that allows me to do that quite easily, and I'd like to show you. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is select the drum kit that you like in x -Drummer that you're going to work with for your song. I'm just going to use the stock studio kit for now. Now for each separate output that you want, what you want to do is copy that as a user drum kit. And to create a new kit, just pick save and then save as new. And then what we're going to do for each separate drum that we want to output, say the snare, you want to turn down the volume on all the other ones. So for example, this one's going to be our kick. As you can see, the symbol, the volume is down to nothing. The only thing that's going to have any volume, as you could see, is the kick drum. Now we're going to do the same to the snare. Edit the snare kit, make sure the snare has volume, and then turn down the volume for all the other ones. Now I split mine just into kick and snare and then just everything else because I don't want to get too fancy. And as you can see for the last one, we'll open that, we'll turn down the kick, turn down the snare, and everything else will have volume. So in my example, we just have three kits. Now once you create the kits, we're just going to switch back to the standard studio drum kick for now to build our song. We want to make a project because we're going to export from the project, and then we're going to begin creating our song like you normally would in X Drummer. So then do what you normally do in X Drummer. Open up the song editor, create your tracks. I just took a pattern, any pattern, and that's going to be my whole song for this demonstration. So just one pattern for a song, but you can make it as fancy as you want. Just create the song as normal. Now, after you create your song, now we're going to export it, and we're going to export each drum individually. And we're going to do it by just switching the drum kit. So we'll take our studio drum kit in this case, and I'm just going to change it to the studio kick because on the first pass, we're just going to export the kick drum by itself. So we go to the project, pick export, and we're going to do the drum track as audio. I'm going to type in the name. And then we're going to export it. And I'm exporting to Cubasis. So when it's done, it's going to take our kick drum track and put it in the media bay for Cubasis. So we'll look at the audio tracks, and you could see that the uh, kick drum is there. And now we're going to put it onto a track all of its own that I've already set up. It's empty, and we'll just put the wave there. Now we're going to go back to X Drummer and do the next track. So we just go back, change the drum kick to uh, the snare that we've set up. We'll export again. This will export only the, uh, the snare. Pick the drum track as audio. Type the name in and export to Cubasis. It'll create another WAV file with just the snare. We could see that it's in the media bay. Give it a listen. And then we'll put it on its own track. Please note also the tempo. I have it set for 130 beats per minute. I also have that set in Cubasis. You'll see it syncs up beautifully. Now we're exporting the last final drum kit, which contains everything else. We did the kick, we did the snare, and this is just a mixture, but you could break it out any way you want. Just make a separate custom user drum kit um, for each one. Turn down the volumes as you, as you need.
So we send this to Cubasis, it'll be in the media bay. So we have three separate drum tracks based on just our song. Now let's take a listen to everything. So we have the kick drum. Now the snare. Then everything else. Now we're going to add that to some guitar track I used to create it by SFX. Something very simple, but you can see you have a lot more control over how your drums sound, how you EQ them and add effects. So you could see a very simple process. Just take the drum kit you like, create a separate user drum kit for each separate output that you want to isolate, like kick, snare, whatever. You could do this through each one if you want. And then turn the volumes down for the ones you don't want. And then uh, create your song as normal using the full kit. And then export each of the user uh, drum kits individually to your DAW. And you have complete control and it's pretty easy, especially if you use the same drum kit over and over again for your songs. You only have to do this the first time. Anyway, I hope this helps. Good luck and have fun.